What's up YouTube, this is Matt here and today I'm going to show you how to change the RAM on your Win 600 and put new thermal paste on the APU. So first we need to remove the four screws that are behind the device. I'm using an iFixit toolkit that I bought on iFixit.com. Now that you have finished removing the four screws, you need to pry open the Win 600. I'm using a guitar pick from the iFixit toolkit. Now to remove the RAM, you need to unclip from the sides, I'm using my fingernails and it pops right out. I'm using a Team Group T4 Zeus DDR4 16GB. 3200 MHz CL22 RAM module. Now grab your new RAM module and just push it in and it clips and you're good to go. Now for the thermal paste, you need to remove the top three black screws. After removing the top three black screws, you need to remove the two screws from the right.
once you're done removing the two screws from the right disconnect the fan and after disconnecting the fan you have to bend the fan like this and remove the other screws that are on the bottom of the fan Once you're done removing the fan, now you have to clean the old thermal paste. And I'm using 91% alcohol to clean the fan and also the APU. And some Q-tips. Now for the new thermal paste, I'm using Arctic MX4. This is one of my favorite thermal compounds I use on my desktop PCs and laptops. Apply a little the thermal compound on the APU and you're done. So now you have to put the fan back, put the two right screws. And after putting the right screws, you bend it back and put the other two screws that go below the fan. Make sure that the cables for the fan connector aren't squashed below the fan because if they are squashed, your fan won't turn on. Make sure they are clear from the fan.
put the back of the three black screws on the top. Now connect back the fan header and you're done. Now put back the rear housing or the rear cover. Snap it back in place, all the clips, and put back four screws. Now it's time to overclock the RAM module. To get into the boot screen, you need to hold down the power button, then the volume down button until the screen turns on, and then release both. And you have to go to enter setup, click English, and you go to advanced, and then go to AMD. CBS Now go to UMC common options And then go to DDR4 Common options Then go to DRAM timing configuration Click I accept and change the memory clock speed to 1800 megahertz. Once you're done, go back and go to save and exit. And click yes. You're done overclocking your RAM module. So now I am testing Forza Horizon 5 with the new RAM module. Before, with the 8 gigabytes of RAM, I was having problems. When I booted the game, it says that 8 gigabytes of RAM wasn't enough for the game to run properly, so now I'm testing it again. And it's running almost at 30 FPS. Right now, this game is, I'm using the 22 watt TDP and it's running for me, it's playable at least, and I'm having a lot of fun playing it. This game is running at 720p resolution, it's running really stable, no hiccups. FPS drops whatsoever. It's really impressive for this handheld to run this game.
Oh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you have any suggestions of what to play on my Win 600. Leave me a comment, and I will be seeing you later, guys.